So over the last weekend, I went to my high school reunion, which was fun. I got, got to see a lot of people I haven't seen in 10 years, and it was great reconnecting with people. I had a great time. Uh, but the most interesting thing uh, about the reunion was finding out about one of my classmates who couldn't be there. There's a guy named Chris Warren, who I've known since sixth grade, uh, and he's now in prison. Uh, so apparently his story, which I've pieced together from different sites on the web, uh, at age of 19, after graduating high school, when I was off going off to college, uh, he got a job at a mortgage company. I was a subsidiary of the infamous AmeriQuest mortgage company. Um, and he was assigned to the predatory practice called, uh, known as portfolio retention, which apparently involves refinancing people whose mortgages are less than 24 months old. Uh, he describes how they uh, taught him the ins and outs of mortgage fraud, about how to falsify documents. Uh, he said that when the new employees were all given scissors, tape, and whiteout, three things that no legitimate mortgage lender needs to have. Um, he describes how the manager handed out meth and coke, and about a third of the third of employees did that stuff in the bathroom to help them work longer hours. Um, and he said that uh, about 75% of employees made completely false statements on the mortgages they handed out. And of course, he was rewarded for, uh, for all his fraudulent practices. He made over $700,000 by the time he, he left the company at age 22. He also hacked into the customer database, which he then used to uh, start his own mortgage company called WTL Financial and offer better rates. Uh, apparently, they were they were licensed in six states, and there he made two and a quarter million dollars by the age of twenty four, which he uh, used to buy five houses, thirty one cars, drugs, engagement ring, uh, a lavish wedding, and support two kids. Uh, they they made fake credit fake credit reports, fake W twos, and and securitized bagged mortgages uh, as AAA. Uh, they, uh, by his recollection, they sold over $800 million in mortgage-backed securities. Uh, in 2007, he moved to AFG Holdings Company, which is a parent company of Loomis Wealth Solutions. And after the subprime market crashed, uh, he describes how, the, how he diversified his uh, practices into money laundering, reselling securities, uh, flipping real estate. Uh, he, he describes how the... Uh, would buy real estate at 50 cents on the dollar and then sell to financial consulting members for 80 cents on the dollar. It was a classic Ponzi scheme. Um, apparently the feds eventually caught wind of it and he fled the country in 2009, first to Ireland, then Lebanon, then Canada. And uh, he, upon, upon fleeing the country, he left a confession letter, which is where I'm getting most of this information from. Um, and he was... He was eventually caught trying to cross back into the country with $70,000 cash stuffed in his boots, $6,000 in platinum, and a million dollars in Swiss bank certificates. And he's now in prison for life, which um, I guess with all the fraud that was so rampant uh, in, in the lending industry, I'm wondering why more of his colleagues aren't there with him. It seems that his big mistake was not cutting his losses when when the housing market crashed, if he uh, if he had simply been able to say enough is enough, then he might still be a free man, because God knows there was a lot of fraud uh, among, uh, amongst others in the, in the industry. By his own description, he was trained by fraudsters, uh, and learned, uh, and then committed fraud and trained others in fraud. So. Now I know not to expect him at any future reunions.